Another frequently asked question, probably the most important question we get all the time, is what is the difference between the lodgepole and the ponderosa? So from a harvest perspective, you can think about it this way. We prolong our season each year by collecting both. Um, they're very, they're both pine trees. They're very different where they grow and where they thrive. Ponderosas generally are first to pollinate at lower elevations, which means the hottest areas that you'll find. And we start there. And then we move out an elevation till we end up in an area where there's a lot of lodgepole. And Saeed can touch a little bit more on that, talking about the science of the difference of the two. Yeah. And then when you look at, when you look at uh, these two under the microscope, um, the ponderosa really reflects uh, the actual nature of the tree itself. It's, um, it, is, it is a larger cell size. Um, it, it, the, the, the lodgepole is, is more dense. Um, but when you look at them uh, from a, you know, looking at the, the nutritional value and, and measuring their vitamins and minerals and protein and uh, complex sugars, they're pretty much, they fare out to be identical. Um, they have the same amount of protein, they have the same amount of uh, vitamin, mineral, nutrient uh, levels per gram. Um, we, we, when we have just recently studied the, uh, their uh, bioidentical hormones, the androgens, yeah. uh, what we found out was that the total profile of the lodgepole uh, bioidenticals uh, is slightly different than uh, the, the, the ponderosa. So it covers some, uh, each one covers some, uh, some bioidenticals that the other one doesn't. Uh, so uh, having two separate products not only extends our, um, our season of harvest, our, uh, our geographical uh, kind of areas that we can access in, in this really passing kind of pollination, which is, you know, one day it's there, the next day is not. So we are, we are really chasing it in the field, right? Yeah. Um, so it's, it's adding to our, our season, it's adding to our, the nature of our relationships uh, with landowners, uh, and it's also adding uh, to our capacity to bring out products that, um, that cover more of, uh, of the bioidentical um, map of things. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, another benefit of having both is just giving the person the opportunity to actually find out what they resonate with more. Uh, generally, you'll find some people just swear by one more than the other. And I mean, people that are taking this over a long period of time also have the ability to switch between the two. You know, you take one one month and then you take the other one the next month. And I mean, it really gives your body a rest and it also gives you a wider spectrum of nutrients in there because there is slight differences. So it's really getting the best of the product. Yeah. Yeah, and in conclusion, I'd just like to say, like, really, there's no right or wrong product. You should really try them both. I encourage you to try both. Um, they're both really, they really resonate with individuals differently, and I just really feel like you might be really good with one at one point in time, and then later on, just really your body might resonate with the other one. So by trying both, you're not doing yourself a disservice. There's no right or wrong. It's just how you feel on the product. If you got any other questions about uh, our products, check us out online, CanadianPinePollen.com. Uh, we have other videos uh, um, from uh, some of the frequently asked questions that we get oftentimes. Uh, let us know if, uh, if you can't find an answer to your question, and we'll be more than glad to, to answer it or even make a video for you.